championship final a couple of weeks back in Eugene, Oregon. There is Annika Newell. Pull out literally in the last half hour or so, the fourth place in Gold Coast. And there's Alicia Newman, the defending champion from Canada, one of that very strong Canadian pairing. The Australian Nina Kennedy, what a world championship she had on the 17th of July. Ellen McCartney, the 22-year-old, best of 4.22. Sophie Cook of England is uh, in this lineup. There's Imogen Ayres. And there's Molly Cordery, also of England, fifth in the Commonwealth Games four years ago. You never know how many you're going to have, and, and good for her for trying. Well, the opening height is three meters, 90, 90 uh, Ellen McCartney. She is a 4.22 vaulter, so uh, we'll do her confidence a lot of good. She can pop over this first time, which she can, and by a big margin too, just what she needs. She'll be delighted with that sort of height she can clear in training. Sophie Cook, coached by Scott Simpson, who's one of the great coaches, very giving individual on the pole vault scene in the UK. He's often on the international circuit, on the Diamond League circuit, advising athletes from all over the world as well. Next up, it is Annika Newell. Her opening height, 4 metres 25. Passed at 3.90 and 4.10. And that looks uh, pretty straightforward for Newell. She's a good athlete. Remember, took ninth place at those World Championships with the 4.45, but she can go considerably higher than that. Well, Molly Cordery at 4 metres 25 in this uh, pole vault. Oh, she had miles clear there. That's her opening height. That'll be, again, a confidence booster for Molly Cordery. These athletes are learning their trade. She's 22. Has that experience from the Commonwealth Games back in 2018 when she finished in fifth. But accruing knowledge... And it's so useful to have been through this process before. It helps you stay calm and focus. Alicia Newman then, the defending champion. No height at the Olympic Games last year. That was frustrating for the Canadian. He just eases over that one. Does Newman? That's a uh, second attempt at 4:25. Did no more than was necessary. There wasn't a big margin of clearance. Deli McCartney next to go. Cleared up 390 first time, then 410 at the second time of asking. This the second time at 425 for McCartney, and that's nice. That's really good, and that's a lifetime best for Ellen McCartney of Northern Ireland. She actually competes for a London club, Woodford Green and Essex Ladies, up in uh, North London. Who's a 4.45 vaulter. She makes light work there when she does get it right at 4.25.
Phew, she can reset now. Bar moves up to 4.35. So the first to go at the uh, new height of 4 metres 35 is Olivia McTaggart of New Zealand. Opening height. That's uh, fine. That's just fine for McTaggart. She's underway now. Annika Newell. Her second height. She cleared 4.25 first time her opener here. She goes 4.35 first time for the Canadian and again pops over no trouble at all she's cleared 450 this year so she should have no problem with that and five years back now actually her personal best now Nina Kennedy Probably starts as the favourite, the world championship bronze medalist from Eugene. Her opening height, 4.35, first time, boom, look at that. Masses of space between herself and the bar. She's an athlete maturing very quickly indeed. And uh, she can be delighted with that clearance, can Nina Kennedy. She has a bronze from 2018. So, second of the New Zealanders in this one, Imogen Eris. Cleared 4.25 at the second time of asking. First time at 4.35, and she too wriggles over the pretty. Oh, she goes, no, no. And aborts it there, Newman, and that left calf, maybe the Achilles, quite heavily taped. And it's uh, very sad indeed. Her motto is never give up, never give in, and never take no. Alicia Newman has retired from the pole vault. That's a, an enormous shame. Cleared 425 at the second time of asking, but the defending champion. Well, Cordry, first attempt at 435. And continues on her merry way. She cleared 425 her open her first attempt, and that's uh, a lovely clearance from her as well. And uh, Vincent's got simple here. Sophie Cook, third attempt at 435, the English athlete. She cleared 445, her lifetime best back in May. She really needs this one. Oh, no, that's frustrating. Really frustrating because the height was there. Now, Northern Ireland's Ellen McCartney. Good attempt at 4.35, plenty of speed and aggression. Wriggles over that one, but not the penetration across the line of the bar. Well, that's a shame. Lifetime best 482 from last year. She's played 480 this year, and that is getting up into a very rarefied atmosphere of women's pole vaulters. And that is lovely clearance. 445, no trouble at all. She just exudes power, doesn't she? And fluency. Really quick, too. Plenty of speed on the approach. Gritted teeth there at the plant. And that's a love horse up for that bronze of the worlds. First attempt at 4.45 for her, and she gets it. That's a nice clearance from Harris. That equals... A wow. Well, that's more than she could do at the World Championships.
Molly Cordry then. Well, her first attempt at 4.45, and she's going really well. No failures so far. First time at 4.25, 4.35, and now 4.45. It's going really well for Molly Cordry, isn't it? And that has a... So it's gradually whittling down. If you joined us in the... Uh, Last half hour or so, the sad news is that Holly Bradshaw so far. Cordery then at four meters fifty. Now, Cordery has had a perfect card up to this height. Second attempt for Cordery, and that was really close. Well, she's meeting her first challenge here. She's looked superb right through the competition up to this point. She was fit. Stand. Now, here's Olivia McTaggart, third and final attempt. At the third attempt, this is the third time at 4.50, no. No, what a shame. Maintain the momentum in the horizontal plane to get through the line of the bar. That's a solid card from Olivia McTaggart. She... Third attempt for Eris then at 4.50. No, no. So both the Kiwis dipping out at this height. But Eris, by dint of that uh, first time clearance at 4.45, has guaranteed herself the bronze medal. We are now down to the uh, final few vaults. She's perfectly capable of, she's a 460 vaulter. She will apply quite a bit of pressure to Nina Kennedy because the uh, Australian is passing at this height. We'll have to clear the next height. Next side, by the way, 455. We're just going up in five centimeter increments now. So, Cordery, third and final attempt at 450. Oh, thought she had that. Thought she had it. But she will. Molly Cordery will quite rightly. The Thames Valley Harrier heading over to celebrate what is, uh, at the very least, a silver medal at the moment. Our computer system says she shares the lead with Nina Kennedy of Australia because they both... Uh, Kennedy there, not happy with something. I think actually, even though it's very windy this afternoon, this evening here in Birmingham, the stadium floor seems to be pretty protected from uh, the wind, from the breeze. It is a bowl of an arena. There's uh, one or two small gaps between the stands and the corners mainly, but generally, I don't think there's a great deal of wind down on the arena floor. from the coach there the indications and to go for it now 460 second attempt this will give her the gold all to herself and she does just that helps herself to the title she is think, now commonwealth we champion all knew she can it was on if she so chooses happen that puts her three she is a 480 volt of this year and she's had a superb season from molly cordry as the silver medalist we already knew imogen to 460 good enough for gold and celebrating with uh, some of her competitors there. That's really nice to see. This is, is unique, there's no doubt about it. Men's and women's side, the trials and tribulations of traveling around the international circuit with those poles, which regularly get mashed up at uh, airports. The vault is in what is, I think most people acknowledge as being technically the, the most demanding of event. Or all that, not happy about something. That's uh, the clock ticking away, but she has plenty of time refused so to speak so she has three attempts if they're needed this her first attempt force meters 76 no 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 well <laughs> great
great, great little uh, hand vault there. Simple stuff for these vaulters. But she does have two attempts left. But you have to believe it. In the vertical jumps, the high jump and the pole vault, it's absolutely critical that you understand the challenge and have got on top of it mentally. So some of his compatriots. But here we go, Nina Kennedy, no, that's a second refusal from her. One attempt left, and uh, it's not looking good, is it? But uh, maybe she said... ...file, and one or two of these athletes, Tim, will be working very hard as we watch Kennedy, seeing whether she can finish with a flourish. Third attempt for Kennedy, then. Third and final attempt, no, it's not to be. None of her three attempts really convincing. I don't think she really believed it. She knew she didn't need it. She has won with a spectacular second attempt at 4 meters 60, the Commonwealth title. It stays in uh, Australian hands. In fact, uh, 